If you've been watching this channel long enough, then you will absolutely know who Hans is. One of the most prolific conspiracy theorists on the internet, Hans is responsible for such videos as SeaWorld's Mafia's most gate-kept animal, Spheres have no corners, and sperm whales are a hoax. But if you think that's enough, then wait till you hear what Hans has discovered now. That space itself is flat. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Foil Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a massive thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Under Lucky Stars. Under Lucky Stars make beautiful personalised star maps, showing the unique alignment of the stars in a place and time chosen by you. It is a wonderful gift option to remember an important moment in your life as well. All you have to do is enter the location, date and time of the special moment that you wish to commemorate, and they will tell you exactly how the stars looked at that time with a beautiful print of the map of the sky and it's a personalized gift experience as well where you can design your desired star map by choosing from over 15 designs your special commemoration message and title and size and they are the original star map makers with their proprietary method of locating the stars verified by nasa astrophysicists to ensure their accuracy the good people under lucky stars want people to be able to look up at the sky and see the beautiful constellations even as light pollution and space debris cloud our skies and what date did i pick i hear you ask well it was the 1st of may 1976 at 3 pm this was the day that my beloved southampton fc lifted the fa cup for the one and only time Perhaps it will happen again one day. Maybe. This really does make a great gift for any occasion and they're having a massive sale right now just for my viewers where you can get a 10% discount on your purchase. So go to underluckystars.com slash simandan and use my code simandan to get your loved ones a unique gift. That's underluckystars.com slash simandan and use the code SIMANDAN or click the link below. Right, back to the latest video which as I said from the start is from Hans uh, who is claiming that the space itself is flat. Now, it seems Hans has stumbled on some news uh, which claims that we think space might be flat. Now, of course, this is just a theory so far that space is flat, uh, and there's no real definite evidence to suggest what shape space is at the moment. But Hans being Hans is taking it for absolute fact. Here we go. Space is flat. They've admitted it. So I'm going to go through this article... I don't have a lot to say. This is just one of those instances where they'll admit the truth. They'll admit that their model doesn't work. And it's hilarious because that's like the biggest thing that you get people. If you say that you're a flat earther, you'll get people, where's your model? You don't even have a model. <laughs> the, the people that get so enraged about it, I think that the ones that get that enraged about it, they know that earth is flat and they get just that non-initiates figured it out. So, yes, you'll not be surprised to learn that Hans is now a fully-fledged flat earther. I mean, he did believe literally every other conspiracy theory, so it's about time he picked this one up too. And their model doesn't work? That's why, why is everything CGI? If your model worked and if you guys have all the best stuff and if you do it all for, for reals, why do you have to rely on CGI constantly and just stories? Stories, people say. It's not science. It's not reproducible. Well, the thing is, Hans, it actually is. You see, the things you call CGI are actually reproducible. Take a look at this picture from Hubble of the Orion Nebula in the constellation of Orion. Now, take a look at this image of the Orion Nebula taken by an amateur astronomer. See what I mean? Absolutely reproducible. Anyways, here's an instance where they will admit that they're not right and that observations totally contradict their best guess. You can get the best theories of the time and 10 years in the future, they'll be, still be making up new ones because it's not right. It's not like theirs is right. And this is the beauty of science, the absolute pursuit of truth. If one idea supersedes another because of evidence, then that is that. So space has invisible walls. Yeah, it's called the firmament and it's an optical device and it separates the waters above from the waters below, but that's what they're referencing here. They really aren't at all. Now, if you actually read this article properly, Hans, you will see that the two researchers involved are talking about a new type of particle. A particle which has the ability to create boundaries in space using a new type of force. That is all. I, I believe whoever wrote this, whoever's doing this research, probably know, and that's why they get off on, on putting these little Easter eggs throughout their stories. 
they can say invisible walls because they know that the firmament exists and that it's an invisible wall. It's a way for them to show off that they're illuminated. And yeah, let's just, so let's get through this. Um, scientists have proposed the existence of a new fifth force to explain. It's perplexing because reality does not match their CGI bull. That's why they always have to come up with new theories. Interesting that Hans is happy that this fifth force exists based on this article. He thinks it's true, but probably doubts gravity, which itself is one of the four fundamental forces. The planets? Whatever they are, they're not space balls. If you go look at real images of the planets, it's clear that they're flat. To me, it's clear that the moon is a disk and not a sphere. That's why we don't see the other side of it. Of course, we know we don't see the other side of it because of synchronous rotation. However, we do see slightly more than 50% of its surface due to lunar libration. A wobbling of the moon, so to speak, due to the perspective of us mere observers here on the Earth's surface as the lunar cycle happens. Lovely evidence that it's not a disk. To me, when you look at a real image of Saturn, I think it's really obvious that it's flat and that it's not and that it's producing its own light. Okay, a real one. How about this amateur image, Hans? Definitely looks spherical to me. So many things about NASA's story are wrong. All you have to do is go outside and use your eyes for yourself. You'll see that it looks like there's a dome around you, and it looks like all the stars are basically the same distance away, and they're so bright. You could, that doesn't match inverse square and NASA's story. You can't see something that's incredibly far away. It doesn't matter if they tell you it's humongous and a big ball and fiery. That's And you can see that it's not fiery either. The sun isn't fiery. That's because it's not fire. And you absolutely can see something that's far away if it's large enough and bright enough. That's another big lie. They show you so many CGI images of the, the sun looking like a fireball. These things, that's not what they are. They're lights. Okay. <laughs> Uh, a rain, just look at this. In other words, small galaxies captured by the gravitational pull of larger galaxies end up arranged in thin, flat planes or disks. Disks are not spheres, planes. It's flat. I don't think we've ever claimed that galaxies are spherical. In fact, I'm sure we haven't. Get over it, it's flat. Um, scientists have proposed many possible explanations between the gap between theory and observation, it's because their theory is completely wrong. It's flat. Nobody is surprised by this who believes in flat Earth. So that's why it's all flat, because it's flat. Because water's flat. Water lies flat. Water always finds its level, and there's waters above, and it's flat. But we are talking about galaxies here that are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of light years away. Flat Earthers don't believe in space, so I'm not sure why you're backing this, Hans. Okay, one of the many problems of their, their model. Their model is not perfect. That's They come at you saying that their model is perfect. All that they can do is, they can dazzle us with, they know certain things that are all cyclical, I believe. It's not because of their model. They When they know when eclipses and stuff are going to happen is because it's all cycles. All of this stuff, it's cyclical. The Mayans knew about this stuff ages ago, they tell us. So it has nothing to do with NASA computers. And no, it's all numbers, counting. This place is discrete and it follows cycles. Okay, it's hard to argue here that things aren't cyclical. That's the nature of orbital mechanics. Now, humans have been predicting eclipses for over 2,000 years. However, this fact alone does not mean that space isn't real. And actually, the more we've understood space, the better our predictions have become. Hmm. I mean, that's it. I'll link to this in the description. Domain walls. The domain wall, the wall of this domain is the firmament. Invisible boundaries. There's just so much in here. The universe is not expanding. The firmament's actually coming down. I, I think it's pretty obvious that the firmament has been coming lower and lower. Is it? Any evidence for this? Any evidence that the firmament exists at all? Or is it just a feeling? And the Bible says that. The Bible says that New Jerusalem comes down from heaven. So it that makes sense that it would be coming down. The sky is falling. We don't need any new particles to the model. Just look at how look at how nonsense 
mainstream sciences. These are these are the most brainiac people out there getting PhDs, and this is the type of BS that they're coming up with because their model doesn't make any sense. It doesn't match reality at all. Not even close. Well, it does for a very large portion of it, but there are some bits that we still need to figure out, of course. Regarding the Earth, though, and its position in the solar system, the model is flawless. So they, the people on the fringe, you could just tell that they're grasping at straws to make their model fit. Got some more CGI stuff. I don't know. That's it. I was going to do like a general space thing, but I just want to focus on this one article. It's flat. They admit it. Space is flat. <clears throat> Look at this that I found. Maybe <laughs> Crystal Azelton. Register today for our Space Cafe. 33 minutes with Crystal Azelton. Why would anybody say, come talk to me for 33 minutes? Because that's how long her talk is, maybe? Who knows? Oh my goodness. They don't even hide it. And then look at the look. Look at the look. You'll be hard pressed to find men out there today with bone structure like that. What? What even is that? Bloody hell, Hans, you don't believe anything that you see, do you? Dear, oh dear. Well, there we go. I do love the odd look into the world by Hans and his extremely blinkered view of reality. For now, though, we're all done and dusted for another Tinfoil Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to go back and have a look at more of Hans's musings. But for now, thank you so much for watching. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it today, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and if you really enjoyed it, hit that like button too and even consider sharing, that would be great as well. Thank you. Just enough time to once again thank Underlucky Stars for sponsoring today's video. Remember, go to underluckystars.com slash Simandan and use my code Simandan to get a unique gift for your loved ones. I've been Simandan, have yourselves a great week and I'll see you on Friday where we're going down the rabbit hole. See you then. <laughs>